All right, you guys, what's up? In front of me, yes. Is that a Supra? It indeed is a Supra. <laughs> Sorry, that was about the lamest way I could start this video, but I'm excited. This is Jerry's car. If you haven't already watched the full feature review on the car, you can see all the details, uh, but today what we're gonna do is test out my new audio setup because a few of you guys have been asking for better audio and that is of course crucial, especially especially when we're dealing with, of course, a Blitz Nurspec exhaust. So 93 Toyota Supra right-hand drive, as you can see. It's got a single turbo. Oh, what else do we have done here? Missing a front lip actually at the moment because jerry was scraping on it before but what i kind of was wondering was like <laughs> what's better to hit the ground the lip or the intercooler so it's got a big front mount on there it's got the te's of course we're running uh what are these michelin pilot sport 4 s's all the way around these are actually off of jerry's r34 gtr he's got 285s in the back uh of course he's got the trd wing which i think looks just tops on the mark IV supra i don't know stock body lines and everything sw20 mr2 and mark IV supra i just think there's not much you really need to change in order to make it look super clean and kind of unassuming we should though pop the hood because that's of course probably something you guys want to see and we'll go for a quick drive and show you guys what's up so let me know what you guys think the audio might need a little bit of tweaking going forward for future videos, but uh, I do have one on the exhaust there, so we should be able to hear the 2J. Um, I mean, basics, right? We got 264 cams, uh, stock bottom end, factory bottom end. It is running meth injection. There is a meth water meth tank in the back. We're not actually running it today, uh, and it is on pump gas. So I believe I'm gonna go conservative on this and tell you guys it's about 600 wheel horsepower. That's not good. On During the last shoot, we were actually having belt issues. It started eating itself, um, <laughs> which wasn't very fun. But uh, yeah, precision turbo, single turbo, Grady intake manifold, of course. Uh, we got the Koyo Rad carbon fiber shield there, TRD strut tower brace, and a single piece aluminum drive shaft. It's a CD09 swap. Uh, which we'll get to when we start driving it. Oh, well, Jerry's, Jerry's got a lot of keys. He's also got our 2JZ jet tag on there, which is pretty cool. I think this is the key. Oh my God, we got Skyline keys. <laughs> Jerry, you've got so many keys. Let's go. Is that it? No, that's definitely not the key. So, yeah, this is the key. There we go. Start her up. So as well, my POV setup might need a little bit of tweaking. Because I'm using my GoPro 4K in wide, not super view. So I know you guys can't actually see the bottom of the steering wheel but I'm going to try my best. We'll get out just for a second so you can hear it. Not bad. Just a quick drive. I'm actually just about to head back to Sideways Autosport. I think, I think Sideways Autosport is actually uh, the working title or the the pending name for Jerry's shop Fox body let's see here is this a 5.0 Fox it is a 5.0 Fox convertible I don't know Fox bodies too much but that seems like it would be a rare car <laughs> yes and as you guys probably just felt I wish you could feel it through the video but uh, yeah six puck Clutch. I'm pretty sure it's unsprung. It definitely feels unsprung, but I stalled it about 10 minutes ago. I'm starting to get the hang of it now, but this is one of those cars where it loves to be driven hard. It loves to be driven hard. Um, Collins adapter kit for the CD09 swap. 
and the GK Tech shifter, short shift kit. does not like to be babied. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon.